grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Eun Soo Kang. I'm one of the associate pastors of Riceville United Methodist Church. Today we want to welcome you to our Blue Christmas worship service. This service is a gathering that has been thoughtfully put together, especially for those among us who may not be feeling merry and bright at this moment. This is a space to come if, despite abundance of decorations, your Christmas card, and music playing in the shops, you find yourself not quiet in the mood of these celebrations. We hope you will find this safe space to be transparent with yourself and with God. It is okay if you are feeling not okay. It is okay if you are feeling sad or discouraged or if angry. Here, you can be honest with the struggles and with many questions. So as we reflect on Christmas message today, we hope you will find hope and comfort that you are not alone. We have various music to listen to and we have a scripture reading and a short message. And we will light candle and spend time in prayer and silent reflection. Will you join us to commit this time to gather to God? Let us pray. God of mercy and love, we gather here today as hurting people, bringing our pain, our sorrow, and our confusion to this safe space. Would you meet us in our darkness? Would you give us freedom to struggle together as we seek your presence? We ask for strength for today, courage for tomorrow, and peace for the past. In your holy name, Amen. When you're weary, feeling small, when tears are in Sail on, silver girl. 
sail on by Your time has come to shine All your dreams are on their way See how they shine Oh, and if you need a friend I'm sailing right behind Like a bridge over troubled waters I will ease your mind Like a bridge over troubled waters I will ease your mind Today, the first reading is from Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. There is a time for everything, and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. To everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And a time to every purpose under heaven A time to be born, a time to die A time to plant, a time to reap A time to kill, a time to heal A time to laugh, a time to weep My God, my God why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, so far from the worries of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. In you, our ancestors trusted. They trusted, and you delivered them. It was you who brought me from the womb, you who kept me safe on my mother's breast. Since my mother bore me, you have been my guide. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. Guide does not despise the affliction of the afflicted. God does not hide from me. When I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from Isaiah chapter 40, verses 1 through 8. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem 
and proclaim to her that her heart service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are like grass, and all their faithfulness is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God endures this forever. Today, the gospel lesson is from Matthew chapter 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. It is a Christmas time. Well, um, a season we usually associate with happiness and joy and often called the most wonderful time of the year. But today on Blue Christmas, our hearts are heavy and drained and lonely. In this moment, we can think about the people in the story of Jesus' birth who went through a very tough journey. A three wise men from the East. 
Well, we usually focus on the cool and fancy and expensive gift they gave to um, baby Jesus. But let us take a closer look at their journey. The journey of the three wise men was really, really hard. It tested their faith and endurance. They traveled a long way for at least four months. They had to deal with the white and cold sky and tough landscapes. It was not just a trip. It was also a journey of their souls, filled with doubt and discomfort. To make this journey, they had to leave behind their jobs, their fame, comfy homes, and tasty food. And they had to sit on uncomfortable camel seat. And during the day, the sun was so hot in the desert that they couldn't move. So they traveled at night. As they went through the dark and never-ending desert, they couldn't see much ahead. They just kept going, dealing with doubt in their minds, wondering if they were doing the right thing. In the end, they reached a simple place where they found baby Jesus. But this baby was not just a baby, but a sign of new beginnings and hope being born again. The end of their long journey was about new life, not death. And this new life is eternal life. Their long and uncertain journey led them to a profound truth. And they encountered divine and it changed them forever. Our gathering on this blue Christmas is like this journey. We are all travelers on a path of life and we acknowledge the weight of our journey. The path we take can be hard with lots of problems and tough times, just like walking through the darkest valley. Life is not always easy. We all face our own long night of loneliness, the cold wind of sorrow, and the rugged path of loss and pain. Yet, like the wise man, we are on a quest. We are seeking something beyond ourselves, a glimpse of hope, a moment of peace. On the rugged path, we recognize the stars that guide us, our faith, our loved ones, and the small moment of grace that light up our way and our belief in something greater at the end of our journey. So during this time, let us take solace in our shared journey. Let us get strength from the story of the wise man who, despite the hardships, continue their quest with unwavering determination. Their journey reminds us that even in the darkest times, there is a light that guides us and there is a hope that sustains us. Blue Christmas is a time to embrace our weakness and to acknowledge our need for support and to offer that support to others. So let us remember, even though our journeys are individual, 
We do not travel them alone. We are a community bound together by our shared experiences of love and loss, of joy and sorrow. So may this Blue Christmas bring you comfort and peace. May it be a time of gentle reflection and quiet hope. And may the journey of this wise man inspire us to continue our own journeys with courage, faith, and knowing that at the end of long night, there is a dawn of peace and rebirth waiting for us. I'd like to share one poem, The Journey of the Magi, written by T.S. Eliot. A cold coming we had of it, just the worst time of the year, for a journey and a such a long journey. The ways deep and the weather sharp, the very dead of winter, and the camel's galt, sore-footed, Factory, lying down in the melting snow. There were times we regretted. The summer palaces on slopes, the terraces, and the silken girls bringing shepherd. Then the camel man cursing and grumbling and running away and wanting their liquor and the women. And the night fires going out and the lack of shelters, and the cities hostile, and the towns unfriendly, and the villages dirty, and charging high prices, a hard time we had of it. At the end, we preferred to travel all night, sleeping in snatches, with the voices singing in our ears, saying that this was all folly. Then at dawn, we came down to a temperate valley, wet, below the snow line, smelling of vegetation, with a running stream and a water mill beating the darkness, and three trees on the low sky, and an old white horse glapped away in the meadow. Then we came to a tavern with vine leaves over the lintel. Six hands at an open door, dicing for pieces of silver, and feet kicking the empty wine skins. But there was no information, and so we continue. And arriving at evening, not a moment too soon, finding the place, it was satisfactory. All this was a long time ago, I remember, and I would do it again, but to sit down, this sat down, this, were we led all that way for birth or death? There was a birth, certainly. We had evidence and no doubt. I had seen birth and death, but had thought they were different. This birth was hard and bitter agony for us, like death, our death. We returned to our places, these kingdoms, but no longer at ease here in the old dispensation, with an alien people clutching their gods. I should be glad of another death. The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Where streams of living water flows 
my ransomed soul he leadeth and where the burden pastures grow with food celestial feedeth perverse and foolish oft I strayed but yet in love he sought me and on his shoulder gently laid and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no ill, with thee, dear Lord, beside me, thy rod and staff my comfort still, thy cross before to guide me. Thou spreadest a table in my sight, Thy unction grace bestoweth, and oh, what transport of delight from thy pure chalice floweth. And so through all the length of days, thy goodness faileth never. Good shepherd, may I sing thy praise within thy house forever. As we gather today, let these candles we light be symbols of our journeys toward hope and love. We light this first candle to remember those who have loved and lost. We pause to remember their names, their faces, and their voices, and the memories of them that we hold in our heart. We thank God for them and ask for his comfort. And when we are feeling overcome with sadness, we ask for peace that is greater than we can ever understand. Lord, hear our prayer. We light this second candle to remember the pain of loss, loss of relationships, loss of trust, loss of jobs, loss of health, loss of faith, and the loss of joy. We pause now for you to tell the God who longs to bind up those who are brokenhearted about some of the losses that you are feeling at this time. We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O oh God, and we offer it to you, asking that into our wounded hearts and open hands you will place the gift of peace. Shalom. Lord, hear our prayer. We light this third candle. This candle represents our courage, the courage to face our sadness, to share our feelings with others, our doubts, our fears, 
and our angers, frustration or depression, and to dare to hope in the depth of our pain. We pause now for you to tell the guide who longs to take you by the hand and says to you, do not fear, I will help you. About some areas where you need help in finding courage. Lord, hear our prayer. We light this fourth candle to remember those who have supported us in our pain. We pause to remember the prayers the words of comfort and support, the act of kindness from family and friends, and those who stood with us in our time of need. We thank you, God, for sending others to remind us that we are never alone. And thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Amen. Beloved Riceville, go into the night knowing that you need not go alone. Go into the night knowing that the dawn is coming. Go into the night, knowing that love endures forever. Go into the night, knowing that Christ is coming. Go now. May the peace of Jesus Christ, the peace the surpasses all our understanding be with you. Amen. Don't fear.